Is it possible that Elvis Presley, the legendary king of rock and roll, is still alive, living a secret life as Bob Joyce, a gospel-singing preacher from Arkansas? This question has captivated fans and conspiracy theorists alike for decades, sparking a worldwide frenzy of speculation and investigation. In this video, we delve into one of the most enduring and fascinating mysteries in celebrity lore. We'll explore the shocking DNA results that have fueled these theories, the striking physical and vocal similarities between Elvis and Bob Joyce, and the compelling narrative of why Elvis might have chosen to disappear from the limelight. Join us as we uncover the evidence, analyze the claims, and take you on a journey through the layers of intrigue that surround this extraordinary tale. Could it be true that Elvis never really left the building? Stick around to find out, and let's unravel this mystery together. 8. Elvis Presley's Death Elvis Presley, the unparalleled king of rock and roll, met a tragic end on August 16, 1977, in the upstairs bathroom of his iconic Graceland home. At just 42 years old, Elvis's sudden death from a heart attack sent shockwaves across the globe, plunging millions of fans into deep mourning. The immediate aftermath saw a flood of grief-stricken admirers converging on Memphis, desperate for a final farewell to the man who had revolutionized music and captured hearts worldwide. The scenes of sorrow and disbelief were palpable as fans lined up outside Graceland, hoping for a glimpse of the legend's casket. As the initial shock began to settle, the music world grappled with the void left by Elvis's untimely departure. In the years that followed, an array of conspiracy theories began to surface, suggesting that Elvis might not have died after all. These speculations added a new layer of mystery to his already enigmatic legacy, igniting endless debates and investigations into the true fate of the king. 7. Introducing Pastor Bob Joyce Enter Pastor Bob Joyce, a humble preacher from Arkansas whose life has become the center of a whirlwind of speculation. At first glance, Bob Joyce seems like any other devoted pastor, but a closer look reveals a striking resemblance to Elvis Presley that is hard to ignore. His facial features, the shape of his eyes, and even his mannerisms evoke memories of the king of rock and roll. However, it's not just his appearance that has fueled the rumors. Bob Joyce is also a gifted gospel singer, and his voice bears an uncanny similarity to Elvis's iconic sound. When Joyce sings, the rich timbre and emotional depth of his voice remind listeners of Elvis's powerful gospel performances. This resemblance has not only captivated Elvis fans, but also sparked intense debates and investigations. Could it be that Bob Joyce is living a double life, or is this merely a remarkable coincidence? Joyce's life as a preacher, dedicated to his faith and community, adds a fascinating twist to this enduring mystery. 6. The Theory The theory that Elvis Presley faked his own death to live as Bob Joyce is one of the most captivating conspiracies in celebrity history. Proponents of this idea suggest that Elvis, overwhelmed by the pressures of fame and constant scrutiny, meticulously orchestrated his own disappearance. They argue that the relentless demands of his superstar status left him yearning for a simpler, more fulfilling existence away from the public eye. The speculation deepens when considering Elvis's profound spirituality and his well-documented love for gospel music. It's plausible that Elvis, seeking solace and peace, chose to reinvent himself as Bob Joyce, a preacher who could live quietly while still indulging in his passion for singing gospel. This new life would allow him to reconnect with his faith and find the tranquility that eluded him during his years in the spotlight. The idea of Elvis transforming into a man of God 
living humbly and devotedly, adds a poignant layer to his legacy, suggesting a final act of redemption and fulfillment beyond his public persona. 5. Elvis's Spiritual Connection Elvis Presley's deep Christian faith and profound love for gospel music were well-known facets of his life, often reflected in his powerful performances and personal moments of worship. This spiritual depth adds a layer of credibility to the theories suggesting he might have sought a new life as Bob Joyce. Elvis's connection to gospel music was not just a professional endeavor, but a personal refuge where he found solace and meaning beyond the glitz and glamour of his rock and roll career. His performances of gospel songs were infused with genuine emotion and a sense of devotion that resonated deeply with audiences. This spiritual side of Elvis, combined with his existential struggles with fame and isolation, fuels speculation that he yearned for a simpler, more meaningful existence. The idea that Elvis could have found peace and fulfillment by becoming a preacher aligns with his quest for deeper significance in life, away from the relentless pressures of his superstar status. This narrative paints a picture of a man seeking redemption and spiritual solace, adding a poignant and humanizing dimension to the legend of Elvis Presley. 4. Billy Stallings' Investigation Enter Billy Stallings, better known as Spy Guy, an ardent Elvis enthusiast driven by an insatiable curiosity to uncover the truth. His mission, to determine whether Pastor Bob Joyce is, in fact, the king of rock and roll living incognito. With a camera in hand and a heart full of determination, Billy embarked on a journey to Arkansas, the home of Pastor Bob Joyce. His quest led him first to the pastor's humble church, a modest building that starkly contrasted the grandeur of Elvis's former life. Upon arrival, he found the church doors locked and the place deserted a minor setback that only fueled his resolve. Unperturbed, Billy returned the next day, his determination undiminished. He approached Pastor Bob's quaint residence and knocked, anticipation building with each moment. When the door opened, Billy was greeted by a man whose resemblance to Elvis was startling, from his facial features to the subtle drawl of his voice. Although Pastor Bob denied being Elvis, Billy's encounters and findings only added to the intrigue, leaving the mystery tantalizingly unresolved. 3. Confrontation with Pastor Bob Joyce In a climactic moment of his investigation, Billy Stallings, a.k.a. Spy Guy, finally came face to face with Pastor Bob Joyce. As Billy knocked on the door of Joyce's modest home, anticipation hung in the air. When the door creaked open, Billy was met with a sight that took his breath away, a man who bore an uncanny resemblance to Elvis Presley. The pastor's familiar facial features and gentle sleepy drawl sent chills down Billy's spine. Wasting no time, Billy introduced himself and candidly explained his mission to uncover the truth. With a mix of curiosity and respect, he asked the question on everyone's mind. Are you Elvis Presley? Pastor Bob, with a calm demeanor, denied the claim. No, I'm not Elvis, he said, adding that many people ask him the same question. He explained that he was simply a 68-year-old preacher with a striking resemblance to the king, who would have been 85 that year. Despite his clear denial, the similarities in their appearances and voices left an air of mystery, making it hard for Billy and viewers to completely dismiss the possibility. 2. Pastor Bob's Mission At the heart of Pastor Bob Joyce's life is a profound dedication to his spiritual mission and his love for gospel singing. His days are filled with ministering to his congregation, spreading messages of faith, hope, and love through his impassioned sermons and soulful gospel performances. Despite the persistent rumors and the uncanny resemblance to Elvis Presley, Pastor Bob remains focused 
on his religious calling. He repeatedly clarifies to curious onlookers and ardent fans that he is not the legendary rock and roll icon. His denials are calm and sincere, underscoring his commitment to his true identity as a preacher. Pastor Bob emphasizes that his purpose is not to bask in the remnants of Elvis's fame, but to lead his flock in worship and spiritual growth. Jesus is my message, my song, my life, he often declares, highlighting his devotion to his faith and his community. His life revolves around sharing the gospel, providing comfort and guidance, and living a life of quiet devotion, far removed from the dazzling spotlight that once shone on Elvis Presley. 1. Elvis's Final Resting Place Elvis Presley's funeral was a momentous and somber occasion, drawing thousands of mourners to Graceland just two days after his sudden death. The air was thick with grief as fans from all over the world gathered to bid farewell to the king of rock and roll. His casket, adorned with flowers and tributes, was placed in the serene meditation garden at Graceland, where he now rests alongside his beloved parents. This tranquil spot, surrounded by lush greenery, has become a sacred pilgrimage site for fans. The emotional connection they feel when visiting his grave is palpable. Many leave flowers, letters, and personal mementos, expressing their enduring love and admiration. The garden offers a space for reflection and remembrance, allowing visitors to feel a personal connection to the legend they idolize. Elvis's legacy continues to resonate deeply, transcending generations. His music, charisma, and cultural impact ensure that his memory remains vibrant, with fans worldwide continuing to celebrate his life and contributions to music history. As we reach the end of this fascinating exploration, we leave you with more questions than answers. The mystery of whether Bob Joyce is truly Elvis Presley continues to captivate and intrigue. We've delved into the evidence, examined the theories, and presented the compelling arguments that have kept this story alive for decades. Now, we want to hear from you. What do you think about the possibility that the King of Rock and Roll could be living a quiet life as a humble preacher? Could the similarities be more than just a coincidence? Or is it simply a remarkable case of mistaken identity? Share your thoughts, theories, and opinions in the comments section below. Your insights and perspectives are invaluable to this ongoing conversation. Let's keep the discussion alive and vibrant as we collectively ponder one of the most enduring mysteries in pop culture history. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the intriguing world of celebrity lore.